Nobody was gifted. If you was gifted, wow, man. You'd be somebody very special. You'd be a rare person. But you're not gifted. You're never born that way. Some people say they're born that way. They're not born that way. Um, from where I came from, I'm not supposed to even have made it. I'm not supposed, supposed to even to be, be living. People wouldn't want to be in my shoes. They really think so because they say, wow, I'm going to make money. I can get rich. But if they have to go through some of the things I have to go through, I think they would cry. It's sometimes it's so depressing you got to go through. That's what discipline is. Discipline is going in and doing something that you, you don't want to do, but you do it like you love it. No one wants to get up at four and run when it's pitch dark. It has to be done. And the only reason I do it so early is because I believe that the, the other guy isn't doing it. And that, it gives me a little edge. I always remember what people did to me. And I always, I didn't want to get them back physically and hurt them. But I always wanted to laugh in their face, look at them in their eye. And say, remember what you said? I would never do it. I was too small. I was too short. I was too young. I'd never do it at that age. And I always like to look at them in the face and see, can they face me? The way people um, portray me in the press, those guys, if they had the nerve, they'd be just like me. They're a superstar, and regardless of their fields, they want to be able to say, you know what I mean, the white man's kicking my ass, you know what I mean? But they don't got the guts, you know what I mean? The reason they don't got the guts is because their minds have been suppressed. So I don't know about him or anybody else. If, he's, if he has no um, kind of relationship with our law or anything, I feel nothing. You know what I mean? Him, gun, mafia, whoever, I don't feel nobody. I really want to show them right now, but we have a couple of days to wait. Nobody, or no one, or anything, with a knife or gun or anything. If. What if what? What if you lose? I don't even see, I, I can't, my consciousness don't even elevate that thought. Therefore, if it happens, you'd be distraught, crazed, what? It's not my nature to allow that to happen, but I just don't even concentrate on that. So you don't think? The negative. No, the negative, you always have doubt. You know, there's always a doubt. And the doubt that you have allows you to perform at a higher level. There's always doubt. You know, I, mean, I have doubt and you know, I have insecurities about things. But those are doubts and insecurities in general just push me to that extra level. Being successful has more to do with your lifestyle than anything. You have to live this dream, this eat this, and this is just, have, it's just who you want to be. It all comes down to dedication and consistency. They have to want it. And I've seen guys like the guys who are on death row. They got off death row. They got a life sentence. They stayed in the law library. They found loopholes. They got out. You know what I mean? As long as you have life, you have a chance, man. Never give up. Never kill yourself or go through this. Man, I've seen some awful people do awful things, man, when they get long sentences. Man, you never give up, man. We're meant to win, man. We're not meant to be defeated, human beings. I'm not afraid of anything. I'm not afraid of anything. It's nothing that I'm afraid of, you know what I mean? And that's why I'm the individual that I am. But I'm the best ever. I'm the most brutal and vicious and most ruthless champion there's ever been. There's no one can stop me. Lynx is a conqueror. No, I'm Alexander. He's no Alexander. I'm the best ever. There's that's never right. been anybody that's ruthless. Right. I'm Sonny Liston. I'm Jack Dempsey. There's no one like me. I'm from their cloth. There's no one that can match me. My style is impetuous. My defense is impregnable. And I'm just ferocious. I'm the best. I'm the best. I'm not a tech book fighter or jab right hand. I fight to win. I do everything to win. My objective is to win. To win. Totally to win. You know I mean? Everybody else says, this is what we do. We do this, we do this. The jabs are right. I win. I fight to win. Yeah. I don't know when I was out, and I didn't know I was out, and I was picking up my mouthpiece and stuff. It's what a fight, regardless. This is the game where guys get knocked out three times, four times, where they come back and become champions. It's all about the perseverance, you know what I mean? And that's the, oh, that's, and that's the, the whole thing about this sport. That's the nobility in this sport anyway, isn't it? The, the, the struggle and coming back from um, unseemable odds. Isn't that what this sport is truly all about, really? You never lose until you actually give up. When I think about the idea of how I might fight, that makes me feel young, I feel exuberant, I feel excited, I feel determination, I feel a yielding power, I want to succeed. But Move your head. Keep, keep the head down when you come up with the H, keep your head down. Up. Yeah, I mean, it's not coming up, but it's starting to come up. You can make it perfect. It's good, but it's not perfect. It's one of the books that's on your night table. And the book is called The Maverick Mindset. And it says, the subtext, The Journey from Fear to Freedom. Why is that book appealing to you? 
Um, it's just overcoming situations that you believe that were uh, unable to be overcome. I, I, that's what I, that's how I take it. People have so so many different variations that you can take it, but I always see it as something that um that you never a boundary which you never cross because of that fear factor. And by fear, by by overcoming your fears, just by crossing it and conquering it, and not just necessarily conquering it, because it's sometimes normally it's just no, it's inconceivable. Most of the things that we fear and that we never really conquer it. Like God is inconceivable. We don't see him, but we believe in it. And just by crossing the barriers of a form of freedom. When I come out, I have supreme confidence. I'm scared to death. I'm totally afraid. I'm afraid of everything. I'm afraid of losing. I'm afraid of being humiliated. But I'm totally confident. The closer I get to the ring, the more confidence I get. The closer, the more confidence I get. The closer, the more confidence I get. All during my training, I've been afraid of this man. I thought this man might be capable of beating me. I've dreamed of him beating me. But, that, but I always stayed afraid of him. But the closer I get to the ring, I'm more confident. Once I'm in the ring, I'm a god. No one could beat me.